statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows provide provides information about the cash receipts and cash payments of an entity during the period. So, sa report na statement of cash flows, doon natin makikita yung lahat ng movement ng cash ng entity for the period. Doon natin makikita yung lahat ng cash receipts or yung lahat ng pumasok or na-receive na cash sa entity and makikita din natin doon yung lahat ng cash payments or lahat ng cash na lumabas or binayaran ni entity during the period. And yung cash receipts and yung cash payments na naka-indicate sa statement of cash flows is nakakategorize siya in, op in operating, investing, and financing activities. Users of entities' financial statements are interested in how the entity generates and uses cash and cash equivalents. Entities need cash to conduct their operations, to pay their obligations, and to provide returns to their investors. Ibig sabihin, yung mga users ng entity, ng entity's financial statements is kinoconsider din nila yung cash flows ng entity. And ang cash is, yun yung ginagamit ng entity to pay their creditors, to pay their suppliers and to provide the return to their investors. Doon nakikita or naa-assess ng users ng financial statements kung effective ba ang entity or efficient ba yung entity sa paggamit ng cash flows. Doon nila makikita yung gaano kadami yung nare-receive na pera ng entity galing sa mga clients or customers and other parties. Nakikita din nila doon kung magkano yung binabayaran ng entity sa kanilang mga creditors and suppliers and doon din makikita yung lahat ng payment ni entity to provide returns sa kanilang mga investor. Cash flow information is useful in assessing the ability of the entity to generate cash and cash equivalents. Since nasa sa statement of cash flows is doon nakikita yung movement ng cash ng entity Nakikita natin doon lahat ng receipts and payments. Makikita natin doon kung gaano ka effective or na-assess natin yung ability ng isang entity sa paggamit ng cash and cash equivalents. Classification of cash flows. The statement of cash flows shall report cash flows during the period classified as operating investing and financing activities. So yung mga yung mga receipts and payments na makikita natin sa cash flows is nakakategorize siya kung siya ba ay cash receipts or payments from operating activities, cash receipts or payments from investing activities and cash receipts and payments from financing activities. Operating activities. Ano ba yung operating activities na sinasabi sa cash flows? Operating activities are the cash flows derived primarily from the principal revenue producing activities of the entity. So, ibig sabihin lang, ang operating activities na tinutukoy sa statement of cash flows is eto yung lahat ng activity ng entity relating sa operations. Kung baga, eto yung mga cash flows derived from the normal operations ng entity. Halimbawa, ang entity ay sari-sari store. So, ang operating activities niya or ang cash flows from operating activities would be yung, halimbawa, yung lahat ng nare-receive niya na benta sa pagtitinda ng mga items niya sa sari-sari store. Kasi, ang normal operation ng sari-sari store is magbenta ng mga item. And, once na nakakabenta siya on na cash basis, yung cash flow na nare-receive niya is magpo-fall under ng operating activities. Same din ng pagbibili niya ng mga paninda niya. Yung cash flows or yung cash payment from pagbili ng mga item ng sari-sari store is magpo-fall siya sa operating activities. Ulit, ang operating activities is normally ito yung mga activity ng normal operations ng isang entity. Examples of cash flows from operating 
activities. So kapag ganito yung nature ng cash flow, magpo-fall siya sa operating activities. Cash receipts from sale of goods and rendering of services. Operating activities. Cash receipts from royalties, rental fees, commissions, and other revenue. Cash payments to suppliers of goods and services. Cash payments for selling, administrative, and other expenses. Cash receipts and cash payments of an insurance enterprise for premiums and claims, annuities, and other policy benefits. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng cash payments na premium sa insurance enterprise is magpo-fall ng operating activities. And lahat din ng cash receipts from premiums and claims ng from insurance enterprise is magpo-fall din ng operating activities. Cash payments or and refunds of income taxes unless they can be specifically identified with financing and investing activities. Ang mga cash flows or ang category ng cash flows from income taxes is nakadepende kung siya ba ay ma-identified sa operating, siya ay operating. Kapag naman related sa financing activity, magpo-fall ang cash flow from in ng income taxes sa financing. And kapag investing naman related yung transaction, ang income taxes would be on investing activities. But Karaniwang kasi, mahirap ma-determine kung ang income tax ba ay pertaining, pertaining sa operating, sa investing, and financing. So, kalimitan, ang income taxes, anuman, yang, anuman ang klase ng income taxes na yan is magpo-fall siya sa operating activities. Cash receipts and payments for securities held for trading, sorry, held for dealing and trading purposes. Merong mga entity na bumibili ng investment from other companies. Bakit nila ginagawa yun? Kapag bumibili ang entity ng investment from other companies, yung investment na yun is nag-grow siya or nagpataas ang value niya from time to time. And kapag mataas na yung value ng investment, ibibenta na yon ni entity para maka-earn siya ng profit. Ganon yung nature ng securities held for dealing and trading purposes. Kung baga si entity, bumibili lang siya ng investment and may plano rin siyang i-trade din ito very soon kapag mataas na yung value and lahat ng cash receipts and payments for securities held for trading is under pa rin ng operating activities. Investing activities. Investing activities are the cash flows derived from the acquisition and disposal of long-term assets and other investments not included in cash equivalent. Kanina ang operating activities is ay dealing with the normal operations ng entity. Ang investing activities naman deals with the acquisition and disposal of long-term assets. Examples of Cash flows from investing activities. Cash payments to acquire property, plant, and equipment, intangible assets, and other long-term assets. Cash receipts from sales of property, plant, and equipment, intangible assets, and other long-term assets. Kapag bumili ng PPE, investing. Kapag nagbenta ng PPE, yung cash proceeds, investing activities pa din. Cash payments to acquire equity or debt instruments of other entities and interest and joint ventures. Cash payments to acquire equity or debt instrument. Ang debt instrument is ito yung document na ang isang party is nagpapa-lend ng pera sa other party. Parang yung example nito is loans. Example yon ng debt instrument. May samwa na nagpapa-utang. Then, yung pinautang is magbabayad siya dun sa borrower with interest. Yun yung, tinat yun yung isang example ng debt instruments. Equity instruments naman is ito naman yung from acquisition ng investment ng isang 
entity. Interest in joint ventures. Ang joint venture is ito yung may two or more parties na magjo-join venture meaning magko-collect magko sila to perform a specific project. Yun yung tinatawag na joint venture. And lahat ng cash payments relating sa debt instruments, equity instruments, and joint ventures, investing activities. Cash receipts from sales of equity or debt instruments of other entities and interest in joint ventures. Cash receipts, investing. Cash advances and loans to other parties other than advances and loans made by a financial institution. So, kapag ang entity ay nag-loan to other entity or to other party, yung loan na yon is classified as investing activities. Cash receipts from repayment of advances and loans made to other parties. So, kapag nag yung loan mo na pinautang sa other party, kapag nakareceive ka ng payment, from loans made to other parties, magpa-fall siya sa investing activities. Cash payments for future contract, forward contract, option contract, and swap contract. And cash receipts for future contract, forward contract, option, and swap contract. Okay. Yung discussion ng mga binanggit dito na contracts is meron tayong discussion nito under ng financial accounting and advanced accounting to be uploaded na lang very soon since na medyo malayo pa tong chapter na to but to give you an idea kung ano tong mga contract na binanggit dito is ang purpose ng mga contract na to is to protect the entity from losses kumbaga kapag nag kapag nag enter sila ng mga contract na to is guaranteed na yung na hindi sila maluluge ng Malaki. Ganon yung purpose nung mga future contract, forward contract, option, and swap contract. Pinoprotektahan niya yung entity for maximum loss. Financing activities. Financing activities are cash flows derived from the equity capital and borrowings of the entity. Financing activities are the cash flows that result from transactions between the entity and its owners or yung equity financing and between the entity and its creditors debt financing ang entity para makapag-produce siya ng kanyang fund aside sa kanyang mga sales or revenues is pwede siyang either mangutang or borrowings and kumuha ng funds from the investors or yung equity capital or yung Equity financing or yung at yung isa pa na debt financing. Examples of cash flows from financing activities. Cash receipts from issuing shares of or other equity instruments. For example, issuance of ordinary and preference shares. Cash payments to owners to acquire or redeem the enterprise shares. For example, payment for treasury stock. So, kapag ang entity ay nag acquire ng treasury stock, yung cash payment is magpo-fall ng financing activities. Cash receipts from issuing debentures, loans, notes, bonds, mortgages, and other short-term or long-term borrowings. So, lahat ng borrowings lahat from debentures, loans, notes, bonds, and mortgages magpo-fall ng financing activities. Cash payments for the amounts borrowed. So, lahat ng cash payments from dito sa letter C is magpo-fall ng financing activities. Cash payments by a lessee for the reduction of the outstanding liability relating to finance lease is financing activities. Ang finance lease is ito yung Unlike ng operating lease wherein yung asset is hindi magta-transfer yung ownership from the lessor, yung nagpapaupa, to the lessee, yung umuupa. Sa finance lease, merong 
ownership transfer from the lessor papunta sa lessee. Meaning, yung binabayaran na rent ni lessee or yung umuupa doon kay lessor or yung nagpapaupa for the asset under ng finance list is yung asset na yon mapupunta sa magiging owner na si lessee nung asset na yon and lahat ng payments relating sa finance list ay under ng financing activities. Yung finance list is matatapik din natin to soon sa financial accounting and nandoon yung extensive discussion nito. Interest. Pas 7 provides that interest paid and interest received shall be classified as operating cash flows because they enter into the ter determination of net income or loss. Okay, kapag nagko-compute tayo ng net income or loss, ang interest paid is commonly recorded yan as interest expense and yung interest received is commonly recorded as interest income and both ay kinoconsider sa pag-compute ng net income or loss. Kaya sinasabi ng standard, ang interest is classified as operating cash flows. <clears throat> Pero, interest paid may be classified as financing because it is cost of obtaining financial resources. Kapag nag-loan ka and yung, receive na, and yung cash na na-receive ng entity from borrowing is magpo-fall ng financing. And kapag nagbayad ang entity for that loan, normally may kasamang interest. And yung interest na yon, alternatively, can be classified as financing. Interest received may be classified as investing cash flow. Kanina, interest paid. Ngayon, interest received. Can be classified as investing cash flow because it is a return of investment. Cash flows from interest paid and interest received shall be classified in a consistent manner. Meaning, kapag kinalasified mo siya as, kapag kinalasified ng entity ang interest as operating, meaning sa subsequent period, dapat operating din ang classification niya. Hindi pwede yung paiba-iba. Dividends. Pass 7 provides that dividends received shall be classified as operating cash flow because it enters into determination of net income. Dividends received. Normally, kapag nakaka-receive ang isang entity ng dividends, ang record niya is debit cash, credit, dividend income. And dividend income is considered sa pagkocompute ng net income. Alternatively, dividends received may be classified as investing cash flow because it is a return of investment. Okay. Kapag ang isang entity ay nag invest sa another entity by acquiring shares of stock, meron ng marireceive na dividend si entity doon sa company na pinagbilihan niya ng invest ng stocks. And yung cash payment to acquire that shares of stock ng another entity is classified as investing cash flow. nag invest ang entity on another entity. And yung dividends received is naka-align doon sa investing cash flow. Pass 7 provides that dividends paid naman shall be classified as financing because it is a cost of obtaining financial resources. Okay. Sa point of view naman ng company na nagbibigay ng dividend is financing cash flow ang classification ng dividends paid. Kapag ang entity ay nagsesell ng kanyang shares of stock, therefore, yung company or yung individual na nabili ng shares of stock ng entity is magiging stockholder na siya ng company and meron na siyang right para makareceive ng dividend from issuing entity. So, yung cash received received from sales of from sales of shares of stock is classified as financing and naka-align doon yung classification ng dividends paid which is financing then. Alternatively, 
dividends paid may be classified as operating cash flow. In order to assist users to determine the ability of the entities to pay dividends out of operating cash flows. Ibig sabihin, yung dividends paid can be classified also as operating cash flow para ma-review ng users yung ability ng company na magbayad ng dividends out of its operating cash flows. And ang operating cash flows is normally dito nagpo-fall ang lahat ng norm lahat ng cash received or cash payments ng entity under its normal operations. Cash flows from dividends paid and dividends received shall be classified in a consistent manner from period to period. So katulad din siya ng interest, once na na-classified mo ang or once na na-classify ng dividends ng entity ang dividends paid as financing, dapat subsequent period financing din yung kanyang classification. And kapag kinalasify naman yung dividends received as operating, dapat operating cash flow din yung classification ng dividends received sa cash flow sa subsequent periods. Income taxes Pass 7 provides that cash flows arising from income taxes shall be separately disclosed as cash flows from operating activities. Unless they can be specifically identified with investing and financing activities. So, ibig sabihin, ang income taxes, ang classification niya sa cash flow is depende doon sa relating transaction niya. So, kapag ang related transaction ng tax is operating, income taxes paid is classified as operating. Kapag investing ang activity ng cash flow at may taxes involved, income taxes paid is investing activities. And ganun din kapag financing. Tax cash flows are often difficult to match to all o oh sorry, to the originating underlying transactions. So most of the time, all tax cash flows are classified as operating activities. Okay, ibig sabihin, most of the time, mahirap ma-identify kung ang cash flow from income taxes is related ba siya sa operating, sa investing, or sa financing. So ibig sabihin, most of the time, ang tax, ang tax cash flows is classified as operating activities. Regardless ng underlying transactions niya, whether it is investing or financing, still, most of the time, tax cash flows are classified as operating activities.